This is Joseph Brown of A Fool for Learning, and our Foolish Thought training tip for today is How Much Do Companies Spend on Training? Part 1. Over the next few podcasts, I'm going to take a look at the 2022 Training Industry Report, which was published in the Training Magazine, their November 2022 uh, issue. I'll review a number of the findings from this report, uh, which were based on a survey conducted by a research firm for Training Magazine from April through July of 2022. So these results are uh, almost a year old, not quite, but, but at least a good six months old. It should be noted that a total of 260 different organizations responded to the survey, of which 38% were considered small, 43% were considered medium-sized, and 21% were considered large. And the difference in size was determined by the number of an employees that each had. So a small firm, a small organization, had less than 1,000 employees, while a large organization had more than 10,000. So that kind of lays out some of the, some of the uh, organization of it. So let's, uh, let's delve right into it. So of the company survey, the overall, this is the overall average training expenditure per learner increased by about $140 from 2021 to over $1,200. So in 2022, the average was about $1,200. However, for when we delve into the numbers a little bit for small and medium sized companies, that amount decreased. But the big jump was for large companies. Uh, those, again, with over 10,000 employees, the average dollar amount spent per employee jumped from about $700 to almost $1,700. That's a that's a huge increase, $700 to $1,700, huge increase. Now, the average number of hours spent in training by employees dropped from 64 to 62, not a huge uh, decrease. Now, for large companies, that decrease was dramatic because the hours of training per employees for large companies dropped approximately 40%, while for medium-sized companies, the number of hours increased by about 20%. So that was a huge jump. 40% for large decrease, increase for medium by about 20 Finally, who was the target of most of the training expenditures? Who was the target? Who received most of the money being spent on training? Well, it was what they we call here in the U.S. non-exempt employees. And for those who don't know, uh, a non-exempt employee earns the U.S. federal minimum wage and qualifies for overtime. So is your organization spending under or over $1,200 per employee? Does your organization allow you um, over or under 62 hours of training? Those were the averages we talked about. If you don't know, maybe you should find out. Maybe you're getting less than you should, or maybe you're getting more than you should. This should be giving you all something to think about. To learn more about A Fool for Learning and how I can assist you and your organization with an appropriate learning solution to meet your business needs, please visit my website at afoolforlearning.com. This is Joseph Barone, the CEO of A Fool for Learning, signing out. Remember, learn, perform, succeed.